Okay, so I'm gonna unbox my Gibson SG Standard 2016 High Performance. I've already picked it up from the package which it came from. Sturdy one. And I haven't removed the plastics yet, as you can see, but um, let's open it up and take a look. So it comes with different uh, plugs for various countries for the adapter, which you use to load the battery that it's, um, you know, it comes with the GeForce automatic tuning system, back of the head. Some like it, some don't. I like it a lot. Uh, well, let's see what sells in the box. Before we go to the guitar, we have the owner's manual, mainly just generic information about guitars. Some information about the G4 system. There's a more advanced manual on Gibson's website if you want to read more about it. You have uh, blah blah blah. Nothing to read really. Gibson Gold Warranty. Only a Gibson is good enough. You have replaceables and a little cloth to, to clean up the guitar if you want to. You have a nice photo from the Gibson factory I guess when they do the quality control. Some more blah blah blah, not really needed. More information about uh, GeForce quick start guide if you so want to. So, the guitar this is um, one of two color variants. This one is ebony, it's called ebony. As you can see, I would say black, but Gibson calls it ebony. Then you have the classic. Heritage Sherry, which I guess is like Angus Young's guitar. You have the bridge, titanium, and talking about titanium, we have the nut, also titanium. You have the screw series, you can see it's um, like the go to, um, I'm not sure exactly what they are called, but they are nice. I have it on another guitar, so I know they will work fine. Uh, what do we have more? We have um, the case. I could just mention the case. <coughs> it's oh, I have to back up. It's aluminium. It's heavy. So I guess it's it feels like it's sturdy as hell, and the handle is wood actually. I haven't removed the plastics yet. I will do that later on. Uh, the, 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 the neck, how should I, oh, it's hard to give you a good view of the neck. Anyway, the neck is called Soloist, it's slightly wider, but it has some extra space here, so you don't slip off on both sides. But the string spacing is um, exactly the same. Otherwise, I think the pickups at the bridge you have a 498T, slightly hotter than the 490R at the neck position. Mm, and you have this neck heel, as I call it. I'm gonna see if I. I'm sorry if my filming isn't the best, but slightly um, gives you more room for accessing higher up on the on the neck actually. They also change the placing of this. I'm not sure exactly how that works because I haven't tried on with the strap yet but I will. So I'll get back to that in another video I guess. Gold plated jack. Yeah. I have tried it out. 
sounds great, plays great. The G-Force, love it. You can tune it in standard tuning or you can have a variant of drop D or open D or whatever you want to try out. You have also some slots where you can, uh, you can set your own tuning actually. Yeah. Mother of Pearls inlays, that's what Gibson call them. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I think it's a beautiful guitar. And I will get back in another video playing it so you get to hear it more. And I guess I will add a link in the description of this video so you can have a hear, so to speak. That's all for the unboxing. Thanks for watching.